Good morning. Today is June 9th and I just finished my first Zoom meeting for my online stats class. So today was meeting one of three. So we meet Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I just found out that this class is actually only seven weeks instead of eight weeks which eight weeks is already very short for a class because normally our classes are 15 weeks. So that kind of makes me nervous, but hopefully I can get all of the work done. I haven't started any of the homework yet. I literally just got off of the Zoom meeting. We meet from 10 to 11.30, three days a week. So, yeah, there's not really much to say yet. I took stats in high school, but I think I got a D. So, we're definitely going to have to study a lot more than we did in high school because already, like, 10% makes sense. And, like, the other 90% is, like, doesn't make sense. <laughs> I already wrote out my schedule for today, so I'm going to eat lunch and then I'm going to start the homework if we have any, or even if it's up yet, I don't know because we literally just finished the Zoom meeting a few minutes ago. So hopefully that's up, and there, my college is starting this new thing called like inclusive access, so basically what they're doing is I'm honestly confused about how it works but basically the way that I understand it is when you take the class you pay for the class and then inside of your class fee is a fee for the book and the materials that you need for that class so they call it like an inclusive access fee so instead of paying for the class and then paying for your book separately, allegedly the inclusive access is cheaper. I don't know if it really is because they didn't even put the book on like the textbook website. So I can't compare it, but I mean, I don't know. They say that it's cheaper and it'll help students out. I don't know how much cheaper it is. It's probably not that much of a difference but it also helps you get access to the books or the book yeah the books and the material on the first day of class so i'm going to eat lunch and then do some of my homework it is really hot it is really hot in my room so i'm gonna try to make this quick so i'm trying to do my homework it's still day one and this class ends July 23rd, which is really crazy because I've never had a class this short, like, at this period of time. Because, like, it's in between, like, summer and spring. So it's, like, re really weirdly placed. But it seems like I have three sections to do. But I don't think we did three sections yet, so I'm kind of confused. Because, like, so that's chapter one. That's chapter two. We didn't even get to chapter three yet. So I don't, I can't tell if that's due because it doesn't seem like it says that it is. So I'm not sure because all of them say they're due 621 besides these three. So I'm not really sure if. I should be attempting that one or what so it seems like for my first assignment it's 12 questions can I go back and then six 17 questions and then 12 questions so I don't know I'm gonna try to figure these out because I don't know if I know how to do them but they are due tomorrow, so now I have to do all of these. I so I think all three of these are due tomorrow. I know that um, 
the first two are at least the third one's open so i'm assuming i have to do that so i'm gonna try to get these done i really really regret taking this class but it's going to pay off in the end because then i won't have as many classes to take in fall and winter so hopefully this shit pays off because right now i'm like <laughs> regretting it a little bit it is day two it is 6 p.m and i am just now going to start my homework it is so hot in my room like normal so i did miss some of what he wrote down for our notes so he does upload our meetings to youtube let me see if he uploaded any so he was saying that one week of our class is like two weeks of a regular class <sighs> so that is very interesting yesterday when i was doing my homework i was like you know what now i'm understanding why i almost failed in high school because it's like it's just like does not comprehend like i am not i'm good at math but i'm not good at like word problem math slash statistics because it's like for some reason like the point is here and like i'm way over here like i it doesn't it does not connect does not connect okay so the video or the recording is up so oh it says resources okay so i'm gonna go over that first and then is this gonna start playing yeah i'm gonna go over that first and then i'm gonna try to do this work i actually want to see how much homework i have first why is my computer being so slow okay um it only says section three but did we finish section two or chapter 2.1 yeah so i don't understand but i guess i'll do those two because it doesn't it doesn't i don't i'm not understanding because it doesn't say when it's due because he said that they were due like um he said they were due like the next class period so i'm not understanding that homework Yeah, I'm not understanding. No missed assignments. Yeah, I don't get that. There's no due date at all. So I guess I'll do chapter 1.3 and 2.1 because we didn't get to 2. Well, I guess we did get to 2.2. Yeah, I guess we did. I'm just gonna do whatever I can so I don't have to do it later and then forget about it. And then it's like late. I really like this homework website though because it gives you unlimited amount of attempts at the question. So I got a question wrong like three times and it still let me get the right answer. So I do like that a lot. So that is good but hopefully i can just actually comprehend it because that's not my strong suit for this class that's not my strong suit like look at all these words that's just too much okay so i have one class tomorrow and then i'll do the homework and then this actually isn't that much work maybe it will be even well we haven't even got to anything really yet because we just we just we just started stem and leaf plots which i already know how to do so that's great i don't i don't even want to look at what's coming next because that's just going to stress me out 
So I will be very excited when we actually go back to class because then it's more exciting and like I actually get to leave the house. So I have to admit, I got a little bit lazy and now it is Sunday and I don't know how much work I have to do. I don't even need this. I don't know how much work I have to do. So I gotta wait for my computer to load. But um, I finished week one of the Zoom meetings. So that is done. And I finished most of the homework besides Thursday's homework. I don't know what Thursday's homework was. But on Friday, Friday morning, I went to the beach with my friend. And then Friday afternoon, took my cat to the vet and that was just a whole story on its own that's just a whole story that that was bad <laughs> and then um saturday it was my grandma's not my grandma's it was my mom's and my grandpa's birthday so i saw my family that day and celebrated my mom's birthday also so that's what happened recently when i was visiting my family i got a little bit of sunburn you probably can't tell you can tell my nose but i got a little bit of sunburn <sighs> that shit that shit hurt i haven't had sunburn in years like for real years all right let's see how much homework i have Okay, uh, 6.14. Oh, I already did it, right? There's only three sections. Okay, let me go to my email. Because I have section 1.1 to 1.3 done. So I think he said there's just a test that we have to do. So maybe I got week one done. Maybe I'm not behind. Okay, chapter one due today. And my internet is slow, okay. Homework and quiz expire today at 11.59. I suggest you also complete sections 2.1 and 2.3 by Tuesday prior to our Zoom meeting. Um, chapter 1 assignment is mostly multiple choice. Okay, so basically... All I have to do is um an assignment he emailed us in a quiz so i'm about to write that down for my sunday work it was really nice though going to the beach with my friend we went to bell isle beach which is downtown so it was really nice to go there because i haven't seen her in three months and i normally see her like like pretty frequently so it was nice to get out because I have not got out in so long. Like, I go to the store every once in a while, and I go to my grandma's, but like, have not been doing anything at all recently. And then we went to my grandma's, because it was my grandpa's birthday, and it was also my mom's birthday. They were born on the same day, so we just celebrated them together, and then came home, and then celebrated with my actual not my actual family, but like my mom and my closer family. So that's not, that's all nice. I can't wait until it's just back to normal. So chapter one quiz. And what else do I have to do? Chapter one. What is it called? Chapter one. Is it? Okay. Okay, so I'm looking at the rest of my assignments, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So next week I have nine assignments to do in one week. Interesting. I honestly still don't regret this yet. Like I do, but I also don't. Because I've been going to school. Well, I've been since I've been going to college, 
I've been going fall, winter, spring, summer. I've been going nonstop. I've, I've done, this is my second time taking summer classes. So I've been going nonstop since I started. So I'm really excited to graduate and take some time off because I've basically been in school my entire life. So it's gonna be very weird to be out of school, but it's also really exciting because I've never had time, like an extended time where I wasn't in school. So I'm thinking about trying to take more classes because I have four semesters left. And I've already taken probably like eight semesters and I'm only in community college. Community college is supposed to take you two years, but it's gonna take me almost four years because, because I decided to be part-time and I, the, my biggest regret is I did not take enough classes my first two semesters. My first, well, and also my placement tests weren't that good, so I had to take classes that weren't, that don't even give me credit. So I had to take like English 031 my first semester and like English 131. So I took nine credits, but only six counted. So it's just, it's crappy. That's, that was a big mistake, but either way I will graduate and it'll be all right. But I just wish that I took more classes in the beginning and scored higher on my placement test. Those are my biggest regrets, I swear. Should I do this test first? Fuck. 21 questions. What was the other thing I had to do? A test and assi- Oh, this is the- Is this- Oh yeah, this is the assignment. Fuck. Okay. This shit is hard. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, god. Wish me wait. It says this is 19 questions and this is 21. Where are the other two? Am I tripping or because that says 10? That says 19. Am I tripping? I don't see a damn 20. The sun is really playing me. Like, what the fuck? Okay. Um, so I just finished my test. Let me turn it in. I'm kind of scared to look and see what I got. I got an 86. That's not that bad. Can I redo the questions? Can I redo these? Oh. Fucking bitch. I'm gonna take pictures of all the ones that I got wrong. Because I'm hoping that it will, like, tell me, like, I'm, hope, I'm, I'm gonna take pictures of this because I'm hoping it, the next one will be the goddamn exact same, so then I can just fix the ones that I did wrong, so hopefully they are the same. Okay, uh, yeah, oh my god, I'm just about to close this window, it's just great, now the lighting is freaking actually horrible, maybe if I just put this, that does not block any light, I don't know why I got these ass fucking curtains, there, Okay, let me turn up my screen. That doesn't help much. I just look worse. That just makes me look ugly. Okay. So, 83 is not that bad. So, attempts one of three. Let's see. Is this the same questions, please? They're not the same questions. I mean, that's qualitative. That's the same wait times at banks that's not the same um i mean they're relatively the same shapes of pillows like that's the same 
heights of students. So I think I can get a better grade on this one. So we'll have to see, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's not what I wanted. We'll have to see, but I'm pretty sure I can get a better grade on this one. So I'm probably just going to do all three of them because I'm probably not going to get a hundred on this one. I hate when that happens. You have to take, you have three chances to take a test. You take two of them and you still don't have a hundred. So you got to take all three of them. I hate that.